What the heck's the matter now, Brain? It's... it's happening again. Calm down, Brain. What's happening again? Oh, these ugly, ugly zits have come back to haunt me. Zits? Pimples, pustules, blackheads, whatever you want to call them. They're back, and they have come to menace my beautiful face once again. Oh, you mean the bumps on the human's face when he was younger? I actually really like them. It gave him character. Yeah, lighten up, Brain. They aren't so bad. Don't you know what this means? That the human has more character again? No, you said it yourself, Hart. The human had these when he was younger. It's been years and years since then, but they're back. Oh no, you don't mean. Exactly, we're aging in reverse. What? The kidneys are right, you are nuts. Am I, Liver? Am I really? Remember that movie we saw just the other night? That guy aged in reverse, didn't he? Oh man, you had to go and remind me. Oh, he had such a fulfilling life. And movies are always based on some sort of truth, right? What if we really can age in reverse? But, but we're still so young. Well, we're about to get younger. Hey, remember way back when we were a lot smaller? And our voices were a lot higher. And I didn't know anything back then. Not now, though. I'm on top of all the facts these days. Ooh, it's going to be so awesome to relive those days. Such fun, such innocence. You know, I thought Brain's idea was stupid, but now I'm actually looking forward to aging in reverse. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have a fulfilling life. Like in that movie, I'm starting to cry again. How's it going, Pizza Face? Doctor, Brain finally noticed that it's the next stage of our lives. I mean, you're a little too young to start going senile, but knowing you guys, I wouldn't be surprised. No, no, we finally started aging in reverse. Excuse me? We're aging in reverse. That's what I thought I heard. Excuse me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh boy! Aw, look, the doctor's so happy for us. Well, I would be too if I heard the good news. Wait, you're all serious? I hate to break it to you guys, but there's no such thing as aging in reverse. Don't say that! That's what happened to Ben, and he had a fulfilling life! You guys have got to stop watching movies. So, how do you explain that these things are back, huh, Doctor? Well, for one thing, I'm glad because they look so funny on you. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, I don't think he's actually happy for us. Okay, okay, enough. <laughs> I'm splitting my sides too much. It's getting tough to breathe. Hilarious. Acne's a very common skin condition, guys. It happens when the pores of the skin become clogged. These blockages produce pus-filled, sometimes painful bumps on the skin called pimples. So, acne isn't specifically tied to aging? Nope, anyone can get them. It is most common among teenagers and young adults going through hormonal changes, so you're not wrong there. But acne does indeed occur during adulthood. It's actually the most common skin condition that people can experience. An estimated 80% of people ages 11 to 30 will have some form of acne. Some form? You mean there's different types? You got it. There's hormonal acne, which affects adults who have an overproduction of sebum that clog their pores. Then there's fungal acne, which occurs when yeast builds up in your hair follicles. These are nasty because they can be itchy and inflamed. Next is cystic acne, which causes deep pus-filled pimples and nodules. Be careful of these, because they can cause scars. And finally, we have nodular acne, which is a severe form of acne that causes pimples on the surface of your skin and tender, nodular lumps under it. So that explains why these darn bumps can look different sometimes. Oh yeah, those are actually the symptoms of acne that you want to get checked by your dermatologist. Term, uh, who's it? Dermatologists are medical doctors who specialize in conditions that affect the skin, hair, and nails. All right, all right, back to the different bumps. Jeez, pushy, aren't you? Pimples are pus-filled bumps. Papules are small, discolored bumps that are often red to purple or darker than your natural skin tone. Blackheads are plugged pores with a black top. Whiteheads are plugged pores with a white top. Nodules are large lumps under your skin that are painful. And cysts are painful, fluid-filled lumps under the skin. So why did we get them again in the first place? Well, clogged hair follicles or pores cause acne. See, hair follicles are small tubes that hold a strand of hair. There are several glands that empty into these hair follicles. When too much material is inside the hair follicle, a clog occurs. The pores can clog with sebum, which is an oily substance that provides a protective barrier for your skin. Bacteria, which can build up and also clog the pores. And believe it or not, dead skin cells. D -d dead skin cells? So we have zombie skin? 
Relax, heart. Skin cells actually shed often to make room for more cells to grow. When the skin releases its dead cells, they can get stuck in the hair follicles. When the pores clog, substances plug up the hair follicle, creating a pimple. This triggers inflammation, which can be felt as pain and swelling. You can also see inflammation through skin discoloration, like redness around a pimple. All right, Brain, did our human do anything lately to trigger these symptoms? Uh... The human didn't actually need to do anything necessarily. Certain things in the environment can contribute to acne, like air pollution and certain weather conditions, like high humidity. But some habits can result in acne as well, including wearing tight-fitting clothing and headgear, like hats and sports helmets, using oily or greasy personal care products, like heavy lotions and creams, or working in an area where you routinely come in contact with grease, such as in a restaurant. Some medications can also cause acne, and stress can trigger it by increasing the hormone cortisol. So can this get worse? Definitely. Acne is ranked by severity. Grade 1 is mild. This is mostly whiteheads and blackheads, with a few papules and pustules. Grade 2 is moderate, or pustular acne, which is when you get multiple papules and pustules primarily on the face. Grade 3 is moderately severe, or nodulocystic acne. Here, the papules and pustules grow more numerous along occasionally inflamed nodules, the back and chest can now also be affected. The grand finale, grade four, which is severe nodulocystic acne. Experience innumerable gigantic agonizing inflamed pustules and nodules. Ah! Then come the scars. The inflammation makes your acne pores swell and the pore walls start to break down, causing skin damage. <laughs> Not that, anything but that. Inevitable. Forever cursed to remain a pizza face! Ousted by society, feared by children and small animals! Forced to roam the wilderness and- So, uh, how do we treat it, Doc? Oh, there are actually several ways to treat acne. Each type of treatment varies based on your age, the type of acne you have, and the severity. A healthcare provider might recommend taking oral medications, using topical medications, or using medicated therapies to treat your skin. The goal of acne treatment is to stop new pimples from forming and to heal the existing blemishes on your skin. So we just have to go to the corner store and pick one of these treatments up, right? You can also just start an at-home skincare routine, which can include thoroughly washing your skin, especially when it gets dirty or sweaty, avoiding skincare products that have alcohol, astringents, toners, and exfoliants, and above all, don't pop, pick, or squeeze the acne. Gotcha! You hear all that brain? I... I'll try anything at this point. You know, it makes me sad that we're not actually aging in reverse. I'm still holding out hope that we are. Oh, Ben. Hey! Most of the acne has cleared up. I'm not going to become a monster shunned by society after all. Then that means the doctor was right. It was caused by clogged up pores or whatever nonsense. And not because we're aging in reverse. Aw, that's actually really disappointing. Hey, you know what we can do. We can just pretend. Remember how we used to talk? Yeah, we would talk like this. Wah, wah. <laughs> Oh, this is so fun! Yeah, definitely going senile early. 